Hi guys, Tex Bark here with another video review and this time we'll be looking at the Transformers Prime uh, Cyberverse Fall Back and Knockout I got these for a pound each at b and which is a discount store and there's boxes got Knockout uh, Knockout Fall Back is uh, an Autobot this time but it's just a repaint of Breakdown on the back. You've got Autobot. You've got the Decepticons here. The Autobots there. Four back Autobot lions. Same on this side. So you've got the cover. So yeah. let's get them opened up and see what it looks like. Nearly out. Looking out the plastic prison. Put them into the got a, a um, bio at the back. Uh, for fall back, fall back's duty is to assist um, a world's environment, environmental health, and recommends the ways in which the Autobots can protect. <coughs> sorry, protect it while using its natural resources. Knockout is knockout boosts the power output of his weapons and then takes him out. Sorry, takes them out into the field to see what sort of damage he can do. So there's the uh, bios for them, and I've just knocked loads of stuff over. And there you go, the tiny little, fig tiny little figures. If you're not, if you don't really know what size figures they are, they're pretty small. Uh, the other one side here is Voyager Class Ironhide from Dark of the Moon. And you see it's pretty small. Uh, for another side of the person, he is a minicon from Transformers Armada, so you can see it's sli they're slightly bigger. The other set of first figures I have is Bumblebee and um, Gearson, so they all look good together. I'll be getting some more. Um, pretty good. They all roll on wheels and stuff. Uh, we'll take a look at Knockout first. Knockout is like a sports car. It reminds me, it looks, it reminds me of the front of an uh, LDR8 and the back of an Aston Martin. He has a weapon which pegs up on top of there or on the side of the doors. Well, I'll just show you that here. So you've got like some sort of stabby weapon thing to go and kill someone with, or you can put it in like that and it'll sort of kneecap of things. And it's just a clear blue room there, so excuse the paint on my hand. Um, to transform knockout, it's pretty, pretty easy to set a fish. What you do is just open up the doors in a bit so it loosens up. This piece here, you fold that up and the bottom of the bonnet piece or bumper clips in there and then fold this piece back so the bonnet comes up and reveals his head. Bring up the arms, fold them down again like that, flip down the feet and separate his legs. And there is knockout. I'll just give him his weapon a second I'll show off the weapon in a bit. Fall back, like I said, is a repaint of breakdown. So I first break down. It comes with a green blaster weapon. You see? And he's only got two parts at the top from Alder. Nowhere else as I can see. And he rolls up his uh, sort of like a military truck thing. Tower in the back, which is pretty cool. So yeah. Um, to transform here when you go on the front split the whole thing from the bonnet all the way down and bring it down to the sides. And then there's a little tiny tab piece there that tabs in at the bottom. And then unfold the feet all the way down like that. And then the whole this whole section here, fold it down and it'll reveal the head and it'll tab in. Fold down the arm and bring it across here where the ball joint is. Down here where the ball joint is. So there is the build up mode. Um, his weapon it has a peg here and a peg here. He can he can ha hold it in his hand like that, or like a, some sort of sword or hitting weapon, or you can place it on the side of his arm, which I like to put it on. You can, unfortunately, you can't put it on his shoulder like on the uh, thing, but you, I think yeah, you can peg it in the back there if you want to. Right, so 
Okay, I'll just put it inside of his arm here for now. Which you um, knock out on his weapon. Knock out, he, again, he's got a peg here and a peg here. You can never hold it as a sword. Or you can put it in the side of his arm as a weapon, which I like, kind of like to do. Articulation for these guys. Fall back here, which you've got everything tied, tapped in place. His head doesn't move. He's got a ball drawing up at the shoulder. He's got a hinge here at the elbow. That's it for his arms. And he's got a ball drawing in the hip. And he, well, he doesn't bend at the knee except the opposite way around. So, and that's it for fall back. Uh, articulation wise for knockout, basically the same. He's got a ball joint up, the, up here, the, the shoulder, nothing at the elbow at all. Head doesn't move, he's got a ball joint in the hip, and he doesn't bend at the knee, only at the foot here. But that's due to transformation. Size comparisons. Whoops, sorry guys. Size comparisons here is Transformers uh, uh, Power Eyes Optimus Prime. Really cool in size. Um, this size apparently is a full size uh, nine month old cat. Thank you. Um, we'll bring in uh, Bumblebee vehicle. Bumblebee. Vehicle. And, and as you can see, they all, they all look good together. Um, really cool. Uh, are these for your collection? Yes, I, I think you should have the collection because if you can't, if you're on a, you haven't got a lot of money or anything, you like Transformers and you can't afford the bigger ones like Prime, these are good. You've got all the you can get all the characters basically like that, and the Cyberverse Commanders, which is slightly bigger, I think that's Megatron and that. But yeah, you should really get these for your, your collection. Um, I really like tiny, tiny robots like this. Uh, I wasn't too sure about these, and I thought, well, I got Bumblebee and Vehicon because they were, well, 50p each from I can't remember what shop it was from, but 50p each, and I thought oh, I'll get them for a quid. Both of them, got them. And then I got them again for some weird reason. And then I got these two. And I just, it's going to be on my collection. I just like tiny figures. Oh, if you, uh, just quickly transform this mini can show you the size in robot mode. Like so. And this sparkle, and you can see the size difference there. So, yeah. Definitely pick these guys up. I'm sorry, guys, I keep knocking the camera everywhere. Yeah, definitely pick these guys up. They're cool. And they'll be going on your, on your shelf. Here we go. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.